What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on my channel and today as you can tell by the title of this video We're gonna be talking about a new holster that I just received for my Glock 17 Custom build and if you haven't seen that video I'll leave a card up right here for you guys so you guys can go check that video out So I was looking for a new holster for my Glock 17 I started getting a little tired of one keeping it on my nightstand two not being able to carry it because all the money spent to it to make it look good and I can't even carry it on a daily basis that kind of sucks and on top of that I had one friend or one known person on my Instagram that I follow and he decided to start carrying a Glock 34 with an X300 and I thought that was a little bit outrageous I was like whoa like dude how are you carrying that right now that is insane and he said man it's actually probably the most comfortable thing ever more comfortable than a glock 19 more comfortable than a glock 43x and i said no i don't believe it so i i went online started looking at different companies and i said do i want to go the expensive route or or do i want to go the inexpensive route so i chose the inexpensive route and what better than bravo concealment uh I bought a holster from them before. I made another video if you guys wanna go check that out. Here's the other card uh, on the outside of the waistband for the Glock 43X. And for what they are and the quality for the price that it is, it's fantastic. I really cannot complain any more than what it is. The whole point of Bravo Concealment is to sell to the vast majority, and by the vast majority I mean to the normal people, I guess you can say, that aren't so flashy, that probably don't know too much about uh, you know, other companies like QVO, Tier 1 Concealment, T-Rex Arms, TXC Holsters, where they, get, where they make a whole ton of different kinds of holsters, and obviously for those who Thank you, Ronnie. And obviously for those who don't wanna spend an arm and a leg on a holster, can definitely go to them to check it out. Now, what I meant by the vast majority is a lot of people don't carry flashy guns. I may be wrong because I'm one of them who will carry a Glock 17, AKA my Gucci Glock, and they just carry a Glock 19 or a Glock 26 or a Glock 43 or 43X with no attachments, with no extra accessories added onto it. So they wanna look for something that's straight to the point, does what it does and does what it needs to do. And that's what Bravo Concealment does. And sorry, Ronnie is here walking around. You know I gotta have my pup everywhere. Let me show you guys this little guy. There he is, what's up buddy? All right, go back to your bed or walk around, do whatever it is you need to do. So a lot of people don't look for expensive holsters. They want something that's just straight to the point. Bravo Concealment does that. They make what the people want. Uh, you'll have people who will ask them and request certain holsters. Like, hey, like me, I actually sent them an email uh, the other day saying, you know, I would love for them to make the outside the waistband for my Glock 43X with the TLR6 because that's what I'm running now and I'm carrying it with my QVO holster. They said they don't have it in their agenda as of yet, but there's a possibility. One, I think if more people start requesting a certain holster or a certain gun with certain light mods because they obviously have their section where you can uh, purchase the firearm with like a TLR1 or a TLR1HL or uh, what other lights do they have? They have a whole mess of, of like options despite only selling to what is being requested, right? So I think it's great. Bravo Concealment does an excellent job with that and I really do enjoy it and I do love it a lot. Had to shout them out right here. Gotta have them in the little colorful board in the back. So, all right, enough talking. Let's get straight to the holster because I'm sure you guys are just waiting to see it. Uh, and here it is. I'm carrying this beautiful, beautiful piece on this Bravo Concealment holster. I've been wearing it and carrying it for about two weeks now since it's, since it's arrival to my home, my palace, my place of uh, relaxation. And 
I said, man, this is awesome. It's straight to the point, all black. Comes with the 1.5 inch belt clips. It's two of them. Bravo Concealment has a method to the two clips. Uh, when you're not carrying a light, because I'm carrying the TLR 1HL, uh, when you have these clips like this, it tends to push the gun into your waist or into or, or closer to your body uh, than normal. So it would actually not allow it to print. Unfortunately, that's the only downside and downfall to this holster. It does not, it does not do that with me. It actually prints a lot. This tends to stick out of my shirt more than expected. Right here, you'll see like a little pinch. And it's not much of a big deal to me, being that I am in Florida, and in Florida, it's not illegal to print. Now, if you're brandishing your firearm, it's a completely different story, and I don't recommend that. So, that's the only downside to this. And what I did, I started looking online because I did ask Bravo Concealment if they sold the claw or the wing, however it is you like to call it. And they said, no, sadly, they don't make it. So I went online, started searching, doing my research, and I found a claw that will, hopefully, will fit this holster. And as soon as I get it, I will be more than happy to make another video or put it on my Instagram for those who are curious to see if it works or not, if it's actually able to push the bell forward and keep the grip in as the holster is intended to do so. Now, I did read on some reviews or on the Instagram page for Bravo Concealment, um, there's people who carry their Glock 19 with the same light and it does the same thing and makes it print. That's the only thing. But, like I said, that's all in your preference if you don't mind it printing just a tiny bit and I'll show you guys right now how it looks. But other than that, this holster does what it needs to do. It's amazing. I love the retention on it. It's like, you can even hear the click. Like, like that, that, is, that, that is really nice retention. And I appreciate that because you don't want to be carrying a holster or a gun inside a holster that's just loose. And let's say you get into an altercation with someone or even if you just slip and fall and your gun decides to just slip out of the holster. I think that would suck. So I really do like that these guys would make it to its perfected fit and it's awesome. I love carrying it. I'm actually excited that I'm able to carry it now. I'm running it with a Blue Alpha gear uh, belt with the Cobra buckle. I'll leave a link in the description box below for those who are interested in that belt. I don't know exactly what model it is, but it's perfect. If you run your firearm in a properly made holster, and a good belt that's sturdy and will allow you to conceal it perfectly, I don't think you should have a problem. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick a little dry fire so you guys can see how steady it can actually stay in, in my pants, right? It's really nice. Like I said, if you carry with the proper belt, good holster and practice, because that's what it is, practice makes perfect, you shouldn't have a problem. So, I do like this holster. I give Bravo Concealment two thumbs up. As usual, they make extremely great products and I cannot complain and I cannot uh, deny it. Uh, like I said, I do need to buy the wing for it. As soon as I get the wing, that, that little print right here, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that little print right here hopefully will go away one day or another once I get that claw. But other than that, fantastic. I'm more than excited to know that I'm carrying my Glock 17. It's not just a nightstand gun, finally. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will get back to each and every one of you. I know you guys liked my last video on the Bravo Concealment. A lot of you purchased the holster because of it, and that's awesome. I don't make any money reviewing this. I don't make any money on anything that I say in this channel, so if it works for you, I'm glad. If I'm able to help you out and make a decision into purchasing something, awesome also so thank you for watching if you like this video make sure you smash that like button share this video with everybody you know and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and make sure you hit that notification bell so every time i post up a new video you will get notified other than that 
that's pretty much it. Follow me on Instagram. It's at chris.pete underscore. And I also made a new Instagram for everyday carry uh, type pictures. And I will try to post every day on that one. So go follow it as well. It's chrisp.edc. And let me know what you think. Like I said, comment down below if you have any, any questions, any concerns, remarks, feedback. It doesn't matter. You let me know and I'll be here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot, which I had to drink a little bit of water for this one. I'm actually building something right now and I'm hoping within the next month or so I will be able to release it. But I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek so you guys can see it really quick. This is going to be a huge teaser for you guys. Huge teaser. And here it is. Oh, that's it. That's it. I can't show you anymore. That's it. If you have any questions, follow my Instagram. I will post stories on this awesome build. Uh, and I will give you more information later on. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face with your dirty hands. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.